Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I wanted to do an update video, but um, I think I'd like to do a video about the supplements that I took that really helped me when I was really in a desperate place and just needing some relief. Um, so I'm gonna just, and, and some of the treatments that I did as well, because th those were really helpful. So I'll just go through the list just quickly. I don't want to spend too long um, waffling about stuff, so I'm going to go through it quite quickly. And if you have any questions about any of them, um, then please ask in the comment section. So the first thing I did that helped me the most was craniosacral therapy. That helped my nervous system to calm down and where I had lost so much weight, within four months of going through all of this crazy shortness of breath and I didn't know it was my nervous system that was being uh, affected. Um, but going to see that lady, she worked on me for two and a half hours, so it was quite a long, a long one, but she calmed down my system enough that I was able to walk across the road and actually go clothes shopping with my sister I was able to eat because my appetite came back for four months I had lost weight I wasn't able to talk I wasn't I, I was hunched over because it was too difficult to breathe standing straight um, I was housebound I was um, I mean practically couch bound as well um, and all of a sudden I was able to go shopping you know and be around people and you know it was it was phenomenal so I continued seeing her every week um, for a good maybe maybe six to eight months it could have been even a year I can't really remember but I remember it I, I felt that I plateaued with that so I decided to um, well I was researching all the way through anyway but I decided I needed to see a nutritionist so I did and um, she put she thought I had SIBO small intestinal bacterial overgrowth so she put me on oregano and it helped me whilst I was on it and then I came off it tried to um, replenish with pro probiotics and all my symptoms returned then I saw another nutritionist she put me on berberine and garlic and I think we may have done oregano for a little bit as well and the same thing happened in fact when my symptoms returned they became a lot worse so I just felt something was off and I needed to find a different route and actually get to the root cause because obviously I hadn't quite got there. Um, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to be on those herbs uh, indefinitely. It didn't, that to me wasn't healing, right? So the next things I tried. So this one I was really afraid of. It was diatomaceous earth. But I had watched a summit um, where I think it was Dr. Dan Kalish. I don't know if he was a chiropractor. I can't really remember, but his, so his surname is spelt K-A-L-I-S-H. Um, and he recommended a detox drink with diatomaceous earth. And so the ingredients were one tablespoon of diatomaceous earth, one whole lemon, and one tablespoon of grated ginger in a blender and just mix some water in it blend it all up and drink that in the morning um, every day uh, for a while. I, did, I, didn't, I can't remember how long it was for, but I ended up doing that for a good, at least six months, maybe even eight months or so. And it was brilliant. My anxiety completely reduced. And when I say anxiety, this was different to the shortness of breath, although that hel it helped that too. I didn't have anxiety until I started on Nystatin, and Nystatin is an antifungal, and my integrative doctor put me on that, and ever since that, ever since taking that, I developed this anxiety. So my shortness of breath got better, but then the anxiety um, appeared, and it was just like, okay. So now I feel like I can't leave the house because I'm easily triggered. Whereas before it was just shortness of breath, and I didn't feel the anxiety, and you know, it's still difficult to leave the house because of the shortness of breath. It was nuts. It was just two different things, but kind of they sound the same when you when you explain it. So diatomaceous earth was amazing for that. So I did that 
um, as with it, as with anything, you feel like you get to its end with a certain thing and then you then look for something else. But one thing I learned was not to, I've only learned that more recently though, but at the time I was always panicking about the next step. And I think at that point I went on to do, no, I did coffee enemas. I did coffee enemas at that point, And that was another thing I was really afraid of. But again, I had nothing to lose and I just, I went for it because I, I didn't know where else to go. And uh, I was just, the fear had to take a back seat really because I, I literally was fighting for my life. That's how I felt, you know, um, I was going through, you know. Um, so the coffee enema, what that did was, it again, it reduced, it helped me with my breathing. It gave me an, an amazing um, good mood. <laughs> loads of energy, the ability to talk again. Um, in fact, I remember that being the best I could talk in a good year and a half. It was unbelievable, I was so glad I discovered that. Um, eventually it did start giving me panic attacks, but I did it for a good two years, probably about three to four times a day, sometimes even more depending on what, what I was going through. It, it reduced headaches, I mean, it actually eliminated headaches, and I mean real bad migraines. You know, the really debilitating ones, completely got rid of those. Got rid of pain in the sort of abdomen area. Um, it was just amazing. Like those two things I've mentioned, really, I mean, I noticed huge improvements with those two. The other one was GI Broom, that's a Dr. Morse supplement. It really, I've, I've done a video on that, so I'm not going to waste too much time talking about that, but that was absolutely amazing as well. So I kind of went through um, stints of trying different things. Coffee enemas lasted for ages, and throughout all my testing of supplements, coffee enemas was there, kind of helping me to detox everything out. Um, ginger tea was brilliant at times, sometimes no. Nettle tea was fantastic for histamine issues. Um, if I was reacting to a food or something, it was brilliant. And I would know by the taste, if it went down really well, then it was helping me. And I could tell, you know, my body just responded in a positive way. Um, peppermint tea at times. Um, camel milk, raw camel milk helped with my anxiety. That was actually quite good. Um, I sourced it from Holland, I believe. Fecal transplants, I did that as well. It helped me while I was taking it, while I was doing it, sorry. Um, but then, you know, you stop doing it and the symptoms come back. It was very similar to the herbal formulas, although it had a more powerful effect. So it's, it's like probiotics in a way, but it's just probiotics on steroids. It was absolutely amazing for six weeks after I stopped and then all the symptoms returned again and I would do another, you know, single fecal transplant treatment and then you know it would kind of help me to digest things better and you know just not react to food in general and then symptoms would return return it wasn't um it wasn't healing I didn't feel like it was healing I felt like I was still not getting to the root cause you know and I feel like I'm now dealing with root causes now as I'm sort of um going along yes I've done lots of um, detox work you know the diatomaceous earth for example it has it contains silica so I've learned this later that the silica helps to absorb or helps to detox aluminium and my kinesiologist within the last two years discovered that I had aluminium in my brain and that's why perhaps the diatomaceous earth was helping me with my breathing because perhaps it was actually detoxing this aluminium out of my brain. And um, so instead, my kinesiologist put me on um, volvic water, which has a high content of silica. Oh, it has some silica. I don't know if it's high, but um, for some reason, I remember her saying that, but I could be wrong. So anyway, it contains silica. So um, she... Um, recommended Volvic or Fu Fiji, Fiji water. So that could be something to try. I mean, it's more natural if you're in the UK. I don't know where you can get, I mean, maybe there's some water that you can get 
um, with silica in your country if you're in the US or wherever you'd have to do some research. Um, a brilliant one that I discovered for pain when I was going through really bad reactions from Nystatin. I had real bad pain in my abdomen and I tried so many things, acupressure points and massaging and just all sorts of stuff, different supplements, charcoal and <laughs> you know things to absorb any toxins but it wasn't doing anything and the thing that actually worked was ginger essential oil wow 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 so where I was in absolute agony and I mean agony for hours and hours five hours you know just non-stop agony no break in between I mean it was just ridiculous like you couldn't sleep through this pain it was like I'd be waking up at 4 30 in the morning and just in agony after taking nice statin and me having that reaction to it. And then I tried ginger essential oil on my abdomen. Sometimes neat when I didn't, uh, I couldn't get to the kitchen to get any oil, but sometimes with olive oil or coconut oil. And it, the pain was pretty much gone within half an hour. It was absolutely amazing. The other one that wasn't too bad as well and helped somewhat was peppermint essential oil but ginger was my absolute number one and I carried it with me everywhere, every room. I didn't, I didn't leave the room, you know, without taking it with me, you know. I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to walk up the stairs again, so I made sure I, this is, this is how I was. I, I mean, I, my breathing would be so severe, I couldn't walk up the stairs, I couldn't walk to the next room. It was, it was really <laughs> debilitating. Um, so faecal transplants mentioned that ginger tea at times, peppermint tea, nettle tea, GI broom. Yeah, I think I've gone through the list. I now do things like yoga and um, you know meditation. I can finally do meditation. I wasn't able to do that before. It was just I was just not in a calm place, and I couldn't get myself calm. And the fact that I couldn't made made it even worse. It just highlighted what I was going through, not being able to breathe. But eventually, you know, um, I was able to do it. And at times I could do it, you know, when I was doing coffee enemas, for example, because it calmed down my nervous system, you know. Um, so yeah, that's basically a, a run through of, of the things I tried that really did help me. Um, I hope that helped. If I, if there's any questions, just please leave them in the comment section. I'm going to record another video about um, what I've been up to and how I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in that next video. Bye.